My brothers, you should never back down. If you come into a lobby full of snipers, you must fight for your right to play free for all. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face doing that voice. It's Fuzzy Motion, and what you're watching right now is a free for all gameplay. As you can see from the first person that spawned in, there are a few snipers in this game. Now, the way that this game all works out, you're going to see some frustrating kills, some frustrating deaths. You're going to see a lot of snipers, a lot of phase wannabes, a lot of optic dropouts come and try to smash good old Robbie, but you know what? Robbie says, nah-uh, not today. He puts his foot down, and he makes some things happen. Now, a lot of times when you come across these lobbies, people are trying to get trick shot clips, trying to get those clips of the montage, trying to look all cute and sexy, and it just turns into a, a shit fest. It's so annoying to play against these sort of people, because all of a sudden you just get sniped from weird angles, uh, you can never find people, and at the end of the day, you just feel like you've gained nothing out of playing this. Well, I decided to stay in this lobby and said, no, I'm going to win this game, I don't care what it takes, these guys aren't that good, and I don't care if they're a lobby full of, of snipers. Now, a few people in here are actually rushers, they're running around and trying, uh, and kudos to them, but you will see half of this lobby turn into snipers, okay? Half of this lobby is snipers, and half of this lobby are just people standing in what are called feed spots, trying to get those awesome montage clips that you see in the, the sniper montages on YouTube. I ain't having all that, okay? You see me go on a 10 kill streak, and you're just going to see me go ham. I don't want to say too much more about the gameplay. Let's go ahead and get into today's topic, and today's topic is some of the things that are going to be happening with Advanced Warfare. Um, I've pre-ordered the game. I pre-ordered the game, I've gotten so excited, I've been watching clips, I'm getting that feeling, that feeling like when I first started playing Black Ops 2, um, it just feels like a new, colorful, fun, adventurous sort of game, all these new guns, all these new combinations, all these new things to happen, and look at that, hey, can I be part of FaZe, can I be part of Optic, the Optic Sniping Club, oh, I got a hit marker there, that's ridiculous, and then this guy decides to run away, I thought I had two bullets here, I actually had ten, but I was surprised that I killed him, I pre-ordered the game, now, when you go to pre-order the game for Advanced Warfare, uh, which is coming out November 3rd, you might notice that there's a bunch of different options you have. You have the Atmos Limited uh, version, you have the uh, Pro version, which, you know, have all those, like, special soundtracks, and, like, steel book coverings, and, you know, all that bullshit. Like, I don't understand, unless you're a developer, or unless you had something significant to do with the game itself, I don't know why you'd want to get all of that, unless you're just a complete Call of Duty fanboy, um, you know, or you just have uh, 70 or $80 to burn. I don't, though, and uh, I'd like to hold on to some of that money, maybe to buy some of the DLC uh, that's coming out, like a season pass or something like that. So knowing that, I want to invest a little bit of money where it's deserved and not where it's going to do nothing for me. Now, one of the things that happens when you decide to order one of these uh, packs like the Atlas Limited or Pro is you get some uh, special uh, weapons. Like, uh, I know you get the Atlas 45 combat pistol or something like that, but I've already uh, looked around and uh, Drifter <laughs> had posted a video and said that that thing was, uh, was pretty much useless. So I don't feel bad about not ordering the limited edition version of the game because it's going to give me a gun that I probably wouldn't use anyway. And it's a 45 caliber pistol, so on paper it looks pretty good, but uh, in reality and practice, it's not very good at all. So I really don't feel any uh, guilt about not getting it. Um, you also have the limited edition Xbox One bundle. I already have an Xbox One, so obviously I won't be getting that. But that thing looks sweet as hell. Um, if you don't have an Xbox One and you're looking for a reason to buy it, uh, I don't think that's a bad, uh, a bad choice, you know? Uh, you're gonna get a pretty cool looking Xbox One, pretty sweet looking Xbox One, plus you get a, a, a very good game at launch. Um, I, I think that if, you know, you've got the money and you're looking to buy one, it's close to the Christmas, uh, holiday season, or, I, you know, just a holiday season, not everybody celebrates Christmas, but, uh, you know, looking to get doing that, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that, that bad of an investment. Um, you know, the... The, the thing that I still don't get about this game and, and about games like this is that they're still going to be released on the Xbox 360. Microsoft needs to step in and just say, um, we're only going to have these exclusive for our next-gen consoles because this is a next-gen game. Um, the developers at Sledgehammer are not making the 360 version. Now, I know that you've seen Titanfall come out with like kind of a, a condensed or redacted version of their games on 360 and PS3, but... Uh, I don't know how that's going to happen. They're, they're licensing out a third-party developer to kind of uh, do the same thing for their game. 
So the 360 version isn't going to be like the game itself will be developed, but then it's going to be like, you know, trimmed around the edges and kind of uh, spruced up in some places or, or toned down in some places so that it can be 360 available. I just think it's such a bad marketing ploy for your next gen consoles if you're o if you're offering like your your marquee titles on your older consoles. It's just it's counterproductive. You can't get people you can't incentivize people to buy your Xbox One bundle which looks awesome and is probably at a either a reduced uh, price or you know has a has a better um, paint job to it. You can't incentivize people to buy that if you're going to be selling the same game for about 50 to 60 bucks on the console that they already have. So why the fuck are you going to do that? I mean, it started with Call of Duty Ghost, and now I guess it's continuing with uh, with Advanced Warfare. But I mean, Sledgehammer, you, you seem like a, a smart bunch of people, smart bunch of guys and girls out there. Learn from Infinity Ward's mistakes. Don't put it out for Xbox 360. Xbox One is going to be so much more beneficial for this game in handling all the bells and whistles. I don't think anybody wants a reduced or redacted version of, you know, the game that you spent three years making. Um, having said all that, there's still no mention of dedicated servers. Uh, doesn't mean that there won't be any. This guy gets jump shot. Oh, that was such a beautiful jump shot. And I ducked somebody's sniper bullet and turned around and turned on him. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's still no mention of dedicated servers, which is a little troublesome. I don't understand, uh, it, you know, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All I know is that from Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm a little jaded because they mentioned Call of Duty Ghosts having dedicated servers, and then it absolutely did not for most game modes. Um, there's the gameplay, guys. I can't believe it's over already. Uh, as you can see, I go uh, 30 and 16 from the score that's about to come up. Um, and, you know, if ever you find yourself in these lobbies, don't quit out, guys. Don't give them what they want. They want you to quit out. They want you to go away. Be that pain in the ass because look at who's left. <laughs> there's only three people left. It's your boy Fuzzy Motion. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. YouTube, we'll see you in the next video.